How exactly did the iron bars in the cellar open? Hey, I'm talking to you. You? You can speak? You know what? Forget it. I'll work it out for myself. I'd rather search through every nook and cranny of this house than inflict any more of these conversations upon my elven ears. You? You can speak? This character is not funny, he's just tedious. I know you've never been down there, but there was a staff in the cellar, and there's a precious stone that belongs on the top of it, a ruby. Do you know where it is? But of course, Mortimer. You asked me to hide it for you. Don't you remember? Uh, I, I must have forgotten about that. No. Oh, what would you do without me? Could you please just give it to me? I just need it for a second. What? The jewel. And before you ask, I mean the stone that you put somewhere safe for more... Uh, me. And please don't tell me that you've forgotten. How could I forget that? You said it was very important that no one found the stone. Oh, okay. Now please can I have it back? Why would I give a complete and utter stranger Mortimer's stone? I'm a friend of Mortimer. He sent me to fetch something out of the cellar. I have never seen you here before, and I never forget a face. You forget everything. Please, it's urgent. I do not know whether I can trust you. I would only give a really good friend of Mortimer's the jewel. Yes, yes. That's me. I saved his life. Well, maybe. Really? Hmm. Yes, and it'll be if good hands on the really grave. If you are a good right. friend of Mortimer, then you will be able to give me the answer to the following question. What colour is his underwear? Red. Red. He mostly wears red underwear. That's right! Red silk underwear. Why do you know but that? I'm still not quite satisfied. So, what is his cat's name? His cat died some while ago. Her gravestone's outside. Her name was Kinsky. It was a tomcat. <sighs> the poor thing was always so happy playing with my bandages. Yes, very sad. Yes, very sad. Very sad. <laughs> oh God, but hopefully this like proves that. that I am a good friend of old Mortimer, does it not? You have only answered one of my questions. For fuck's sake! Two? Uh... You asked me about his underwear. But why would his underwear be of any interest to oh, me? Oh, for fuck's sake! Oh, come on, don't change the subject. Are you going to give me that jewel now? No, not yet. I have one last question. What did Count Grunschfeld or Pieperbock say to his adjutant Henninger shortly before the Battle of Budlerberg? Huh? Wrong. No, I just don't understand what you're talking about. I am a trifle unsure about this, too. It is a bit like a coded question. And do you know the answer? Of course! Mortimer told me. And you haven't forgotten it? I... um... um... no. So, what is the answer? I don't know. Let's just see. Grunschfeld made Henninger an offer that he couldn't refuse. Really? So what did he offer him? He really made him an offer. No. What did Grunschfeld say to Henninger? He said, Henninger, I am your father. Because let's just get what through it. nonsense. I can see dead people. Th that was before the battle. No, 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 that's all wrong. Now tell me, what did he say to his adjutant? 234, of course. Oh, what? 234. I know all about that. Mortimer told me many times. 234 what? How can anyone who is a good friend of Mortimer not know that? But how? What? 234. 
Mortimer never told you that? Well, yes. 234. So it turns out that you aren't such a good friend after all, then, if you don't even know anything about THE 234. Oh. Oh, that! You mean THAT 234? Yes, exactly. With that thingy? Precisely. I see that you are a good friend of old Mortimer's after all. Of course. Splendid! Now that you've proven that, can you give me the jewel? At last. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Many thanks. Uh, you're welcome. That... That was painful. Fits perfectly. A wooden tub about oh great. A small circuit. I think I'd better take the staff with me. It might come in handy elsewhere. Okay, the light beam is reflected by the little. And I can use the staff on it anyway, can I? No. So there must be somewhere else I can use the staff to do something. The windows open. The last rays of sunlight can enter the house. Better not. I haven't. The top of the staff now has the. The top of the. Okay. Maybe there's something with the crystals downstairs, but I don't know. I'm still here. Yeah. I still touch them after all. A picture on a stone, a jewel is glit. The spider has an emerald on it. This figure looks a bit like a dog. This bird has an eye made out of a... This bird... Okay, so no chance. Sort of there has to be a secret me... <laughs> That's the hole into which one... There are strange marks on the figure's pedestal. Looks like the figure may have been turned. Oh, it's that symbol, huh? I've got to try and turn it back to its original position. Why do I need this thing standing there to do that? Excellent. The path is clear. Great. That seems a bit strange that I couldn't do that without placing the staff. Hmm, this must be the secret book. Oh, it's been written by hand and there are several pictures. There are a few words written in orange ink. That doesn't exist, does it? The artifact of divine fate. This is serious. I should get this book to the Archmage as quick as I can. I'm curious why as long as I don't bump into the like sorcerer this. or his troll, oh, I should manage to make sea stone by midday tomorrow. Hm, shouldn't be a problem. Uh-oh. Oh, the 
probably forgot to mention his self destruct mechanism uh, or something. Uh, a pebble? Really? So yeah, so far... I think I'll just wait and see what happens. Wait, shouldn't you have been inside a thing that you got launched with? Like a capture of the sort? Why are you staring like that? Never seen a town guard before? No. You... You're a human, aren't you? Me? Yes, uh... You could say that, never been anything else. Wow. My name is Bartholomew Anton Shieldhand, Royal Town Guard of Seastone. And who are you? Um... Weathervane. Wilbur Weathervane, from the White Ridge Mountains on a secret mission. Weathervane? Hmm, okay then. Where... where am I? This lovely seaside resort. Residence of the Archmage and home of the Sea Shanty Singers is Seastone. Seastone? Then I made it! Absolutely, I'd say. And here's me thinking that the Orcs were firing grunts at our walls again. I have to see the Archmage. It's urgent. <laughs> then I wish you the best of luck. The guard at the upper gate follows very strict procedures. He won't let you through to the Archmage that easily. Is the Archmage even in his tower at the moment? I'm not allowed to give out any information on that subject. Those are the regulations. Can you tell me anything about the Archmage? Do you know him personally? Of course I know him. The Seastone Town Guard is also responsible for protecting the Archmage. Why does he need protection if he's as powerful as everyone says? Well, he's not uh, exactly the greatest of warriors. No? No. He's uh, more... Strange. He thinks about stuff, you know. Strange? Why does he do that? Who knows, who knows. What do you mean by Upper Town? Well, the town's divided into the Upper Town and the Lower Town. The Archmage's Tower is, of course, in the Upper Town. And what's in the Lower Town? Taverns, shops, the common people's dwellings. Well, at least they used to live there. Not anymore. Where are the town's inhabitants? Gone. Lots of them died when the town was besieged, and most of the survivors then went off with Gustav the Handsome to take revenge. That was rather... less than successful. And how many people are still living here? Not so many anymore. If the Archmage hadn't had his tower here, the town would have probably been abandoned. Sounds pretty sad. But things will get better. Wait until we win the war, and everyone comes back. Well, those that are still alive. Hmm. What's that? A hint of seriousness to the story? That would actually be interesting. Yes, a worldwide war like this that keeps going on would have caused the consequences. If the game could keep this up for a little bit, I might actually be intrigued. But if almost no one lives here, who are you guarding? Oh, I'm not guarding the inhabitants, I'm guarding the town. I'm guarding it like my father did before me and his father before him. But not his father, he was a blacksmith. But his brother-in-law was a town guard and his father was a baker. Interesting. I have to go. I'll get in to see the Archmage one way or another. Well, I never. I have to get back to my post too. My break's over. So, Wilbur Weathervane from the White Ridge Mountains. Best of luck on your adventure. No doubt we'll bump into each other again. Thanks, Mr. Shieldhand. See you later. Ah, let's see, we have a member of the Ministry of Silly Walks. Anyway, this has been Eric Cobra, and this has been Let's Play um, The Book of Secret Tales. As I said before, I think the game could actually have a print. Nice story. Okay, but just to confirm that. Did that. But so far, it's been kind. Uh, yeah.
this potentially a bug. Potential of itself is not, not enough to just wrap me, make me laugh. But I do hope it gets better. I mean, and look, I'll bet the game is competently made in all other regards. So, so that's that. So, yeah, see you all around.